everybody welcome back to another amateur hour guitar tutorial from the dead decent project i'm skinny d and today we're going to be looking at american idiot by green day so uh check below for timestamps if there's something in particular you want to know everyone else follow me all right guys so the intro of the song is basically going to be the basis for the song going forward um it's going to be the main riff that we play for the rest of the song so it starts out by playing the main riff clean one time and then plays it with distortion and full musical accompaniment uh, three times. So that riff is going to be all power chords and those power chords in particular are going to be G sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. There's also gonna be a D sharp in the song. Uh, so since they're all gonna be sharps, I'm just gonna refer to them as G, C, F, and D. No point in saying sharp after every note since we know they're all going to be sharp. It's just four chords. But like I said, we're going to be starting on G sharp. We're just going to be worrying about three chords, G sharp, C sharp, and F, which we're going to be calling G, C, and F. So starting with a G, that is going to be the fourth fret of the E string. Power chord. So you're going to have your first fret or first finger on the fourth fret of the E string. Then your third finger on the sixth fret of the A string, and you're going to have your pinky on the sixth fret of the D string. And that's what a power chord is right there. We're familiar with this. You take the root note, you skip a string, skip two notes, and then you skip another string, up two notes. So we got our G power chord, and we're going to hit that three times, down, up, down. Then we're going to go to our C. It's going to be the fourth fret of the A string. So then with an up stroke. So it's going to be up, skip the down stroke, up stroke, down stroke. So down, up, down, up, up, down. G, 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 C, C, C. So just hitting it three times each. One, two, three, one. And you can just play it with downstrokes if you like. You don't have to go up and down. Now, when I'm playing, I like to strum the guitar with kind of a dun 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 kind of motion. And I'll hit every note in the song while going through that. So to show you, my arm never stops doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I like to go down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, down. So you're gonna go G, 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 C, 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 F, F, C, G, F. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so we're gonna play that four times with some slight variation. Like I said, the first time it's going to be played clean. So you're gonna have your G, 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 C, 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 F, F, C, G, F. And then some distortion and the rest of the instruments are gonna come in. So you're gonna play that again. Right, same as before, just with distortion. So G, 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 C, 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 F, F, C, G, F. And every other time, it's not gonna go to the F. The first, the intro will be a little unique, but uh, you're gonna play it once clean with, 
and it's going to end on F. And then when it goes to distortion, it's going to end by plucking the high three strings just open. You're just going to hit them like that. You can upstroke or you can downstroke. Doesn't really matter. Just like that. Now, when you're playing this riff, it kind of sounds a little robotic when you just play. I like to fill in the transition space between the notes instead of hitting it and just sounding robotic. I'll play open strings. So to show you what I'm talking about, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, I'll play play open strings on the third strike for those two notes. So G, G, open, C, C, open. All right, kind of makes more sense than just. Sounds a little less robotic, put a little more feel in there. You know what I'm saying? So to recap the intro, we're going to play it once clean. Ending on F. Then we're going to play it with distortion. Ending with open strings for your E, B, and G string. Then you play it again. Ending on F. Ending with open strings. You got that? So the first one ends on F, the second one ends with open strings, the third one ends on F, the fourth one ends on open strings. You can see the pattern there. Okay guys, so now that you know how to play the main riff, learning the rest of the song will be pretty easy because that is a lot of it. So the verse is going to begin with vocals and an eight count on the bass drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. While he says, don't want to be an American idiot. And right when it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On eight, you're going to play the fourth frets of the D, G, and B string. It's like that. The same way we went at the end of the riff, you're going to play that to start the riff. And after that, it should be pretty familiar because it's going to do the same pattern where it plays the riff ending on F, plays the riff ending on open strings, plays the riff ending on F, plays the riff ending on open strings. But after every vocal part, it's going to play uh, those fourth fret. It's going to be that, that B major triad right there. So the first time, don't want to be an American idiot. Don't want a nation under the new mania. And can you hear the sound of hysteria? A subliminal bit. You get it. Uh, <laughs> so just make sure every other time you play it. Ending on F, then ending on open strings and starting each one with that four, four, four triad. And on the last verse, on the fourth one, the subliminal mind blank America is going to end it with the four, four, four. So don't want to be an American idiot. Don't want a nation under the new mania. Can you hear the sound of hysteria? The subliminal mind blank America. All right, so next up, we're going to play the chorus of the song. And this is real easy. It's just four chords. And we're going to introduce that D chord we talked about earlier. So to start out, it's going to play C. Fourth fret of the A string. Then G, fourth fret of the E string. And then you're gonna get that D, that D sharp we talked about. It's gonna be the sixth fret of the A string. Then 
back to G. C. G. D. All right, and that's the end of the chorus. All right, so once the chorus is over, we're, we're going to want to bridge the chorus to the next verse with a bridge. And it's going to be basically the main riff. You're going to play G, 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 C, 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 F, C, G, F, F, and open strings. Just like that. That's it. So you, you guys know that part. So you're going to play the second verse exactly the same as the first verse. Um, um, then you're going to play another chorus exactly the same as the first chorus. So the song's just repeating itself at this point. And once we've already learned these riffs, it's real easy to move on and go forward and just skip these parts because they're just repeating themselves. After you play the second chorus, it's going to play the bridge to what would seem like another verse, but instead it's gonna play the chorus again because that's the solo. Um, I'll save the solo for the end of the song, but uh, just so you know, the rhythm of the solo is exactly the same as the chorus. All right, so after the solo is played, we're going to move on to verse three, which is kind of the bridge of the song. It plays the main riff. <laughs> But instead of going to F, it's just going to play the open strings after every single measure. Just like that. Uh, on the last one, is it's calling out to idiot America. And then it goes into the chorus, which you already know. there it's going to play the main riff uh, at the end of the chorus uh, just like that ending on F and then we get to the outro so the outro is going to play the main riff again ending with F ending with open strings with F, then we're going to go clean. You're going to hit that first F clean, and then the second F, C, C, G with distortion. So, boom. All right, so just wanted to recap that. Now that we've learned the rhythm for the entire song, we've got that intro clean to distorted all right then it goes into don't want to be an american idiot and every time they finish the vocals you hit that four 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 all right got that then we play like normal, every other one ends with F, then open strings. We got the chorus, that's C, G, D, G, C, G, D. Um, we've got the solo that's going to be the same as the chorus rhythm wise uh, and then we just have a bunch of the main riff another chorus um, remember to end the last chorus with the main riff so it'll sound like right uh, and then we'll go into the end of the song with um,
clean. Boom. All right, everybody. So we've learned how to play the rhythm of the song. Uh, so let's go ahead and learn the notes of that solo. So to start out, I just wanted to say that we'll be... You, you know that, as I told you, the rhythm of the solo is the same as the chorus. So it's going to be C, G, D, G, C, G, D. And uh, every one of those chords, I'll show you what's playing while that chord is playing. So to start out, we have the C chord. And what's going to play right there is we're going to be playing octaves. That's going to be where we have our root note. And then the next note is going to be the octave of it. So we have F and F. So 8th fret of the A string and 10th fret of the G string. So you're going to hold that pattern like that. It's like a power chord that's missing its fifth. There's a power chord. There's just the octave. So what we're going to do there um, is while C is playing, we're going to be playing its major third as an octave. So I'm going to call that the eighth fret of the A string, but know that you're supposed to play the octave, so you'll also play the tenth fret of the G string. So we're going to slide up from the sixth fret to the eighth. And then go down to the 6th and the 4th. And it's going to follow the vocal pattern of the song, so keep that in your head. Right? Uh, so that's what's playing well, while we're playing C sharp. The next chord is going to be G sharp. And while that's playing, we're going to be playing the 6th fret octave. And then to the 8th, 6, 4, 3. So, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 8, 6, 4, 3. So all in all, the rhythm will be C, G. And the notes will play. Eight, six, four, six, eight, six, four, three. Then we start playing D. And what he's going to play right there is he's going to slide up to the eighth fret of the D string. I'm not going to be playing octaves anymore, just single notes. So we're going to go. 11, 10, 8, 8, 8. So. And then the rhythm goes back to G. And what he's going to play there is he's going to slide up from that 8. And he's going to hit the 13th fret of the D string. And then you're going to alternate between playing the D string, 13th fret, you're going to stay there, it's going to be like your home bass. Hit that twice, then you're going to hit the 13th fret of the G string once, then twice again, then you're going to hit the 15th fret of the G string, twice again, then the 17th fret of the G string. So you can kind of hear a pattern there, 2-2-1, two, 2-2-1, two, 2-2-1. Two, two, one, two, two, one. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna finish that up with a so two two, then hit the fifteenth, then one thirteen. So D D G D D G D D G. Then D D G D G. So, all right, 
So then the rhythm loops back around to C and it's gonna play the same thing as before. And instead of sliding up to the eighth fret of the D string, you're gonna play the same note the next string up. So it's going to be on the third fret of the G string instead of the eighth fret of the D string. So it'll be the same note instead of sliding up to, you'll go same note, just in a different place. So. Instead of going 8, 10, 11, you'll go 3, 5, 6. It's playing the same thing, but we want to play it down here so that we can slide up to the 8th fret of the G string and then hit the 9th fret of the B string to end it. So I'll play all that again slowly uh, as it plays. You're going to play. And then. All right, then it loops around to the C again. Again, it plays. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video for today. If uh, you found this useful, uh, drop us a like down below and let us know in the comments what other songs you'd like us to do. Ring the notification bell to get updates on weekly videos. And uh, y'all have a good one. Take care. <laughs>